and uh, we're here on the mussel farm of the Stewart Islands, or the Stewart Islands if you want to be technical about it, and uh, as you can see the, the drag from all these little nets poured into the conveyance belt, blasted and cleaned, and then sorted through, double sorted plane through, into the pack set, which is set. We can get bagged up here, brought it down here, and then yum, 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 to your table later on. So, uh, not exactly fast food. And over there, to the distance, you can actually see that's where you get the Stewart Island salmon, panted salmon. This distance in uh, this bay we're actually in is uh, part of Patterson's Inlet, which is where they wanted to drill for oil. So, of course, they wanted to turn around and take a uh, uh, drill at a diagonal, so they're drilling downwards and sort of sideways. Common sense basically indicates to do that, they're going to basically have to do some form of fracking, which is where they effectively they push heavy metals down to push up oil out of the way. And those heavy metals basically microscope, and what they do is the seafood, in this case, as you can see, mussels. Well, in fact, we step back a second. First of all, the microbes get into the sea chain uh, before the heavy metals fall into the sea. They take up the space which we normally occupy various different microbes and bacteria that are part of our food chain. They cause those to basically die, which then decay, and which create a, a, a pathogen from which you then turn around and you'll get uh, things like um, uh, toxic algae, which, you know, turns up as a bright foam. And see, over here you can see Nothing, nothing wrong with that foam, that's all just part of it, but that's what the seafood do, is they just suck it in, fill it out, spit it out. But basically, that's why you, what, what you would do if you turn around and you were drilling for oil in this area. All of these industries, all these people's livelihoods would be gone. Something to think about, really. You know, this is, this is a, obviously the view, sites on the beauty, which, you know, millions of tourists come here every year, which, again, affect our livelihood. So these are actual jobs been sacrificed so that we can get a few royalties which most of us aren't going to ever see anything from. Uh, good for John and his mates, not so good for the rest of New Zealand. So uh, I'll, I'll leave you on that little thought and you're on Postman TV with Ben Vigins, Ben's New Zealand trailing around.